check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hi! Huling lesson na for this school year. Nakatuto ka pa ba? Excited ka ng magbakasyon, hindi ba? Pero syempre, bago yan, panoorin mo muna at pag-aralan ang ituturo ko sa video na ito. In this video, we will be talking about how to deliver a self-composed speech. Let's start! The target most essential learning competency for this video is delivering a self-composed speech using all the needed speech conventions. Madalas ba na speechless ka kapag kailangan mong magsalita at mag-recite sa klase? This sometimes can be a frightening, terrifying, and embarrassing experience for some when asked to speak in front of everyone in class. How can we avoid this feeling? Let us first define the word speech. What is the meaning of speech? Speech is communication through talking or a talk given to an audience. It is the ability to express one's thoughts and emotions by speech sounds and gestures. So, to avoid feeling nervous in delivering a speech in front of an audience, you have to be prepared. What are the things that you need to prepare to ensure that you have a successful speech? As often as possible, high school students like you should embrace challenges, and public speaking is an excellent way to do just that. Giving a speech in class forces you out of your comfort zone, especially if you must take a stand on a social issue. Totoong nakakakaba, nakakakonsyus at nakakahiya, lalo kapag nagkamali ka. But you definitely can avoid all of this with practice. You learn to face your insecurities, soothe your anxiety, and respond articulately. As a result, you develop resilience, conviction, and eloquence. Thus, the following tips for giving a speech in class can empower students like you. Here are the key tips for preparing a speech. Number one, organize your speech. Organizing speeches serves two important functions. First, organization helps improve clarity of thought in a systematic way. Second, organization increases the likelihood that the speech will be effective. Number two, get to the point. Every speech must have a general and specific purpose. A general purpose is to inform, persuade, entertain, or inspire. A specific purpose is what you want the audience to do after listening to your speech. Remember the time you graduated in elementary? May guest speaker na invited, hindi ba? The main purpose of guests giving speeches during graduation is to inspire the newly graduates to study harder and to achieve more in life. Number three, use short words and short sentences. People find short words and short sentences easier to understand, especially when spoken. Short words can carry more force in a statement. Ika nga, the simpler, the better. It will also make your speech easier to understand. Number four, persuade with power. The ability to convince, to get other people to understand, accept, and act upon your ideas is a valuable skill. Use logic and emotion in your appeal, and you may add any appropriate humor to your presentation. 
Dapat may emotion para kapanipaniwala at hindi boring ang presentation. Audiences are unlikely to understand disorganized speeches and even less likely to think that disorganized speakers are reliable or credible. Speeches are organized into three main parts. Introduction, Body, and Conclusion. Structure of Speech Basically, the speech structure is composed of three main parts. Introduction, Body, and Conclusion. Its format is to be followed for a smooth flow of information. Moreover, a well-prepared speech results to a successful speech delivery. It boosts the confidence of the speaker in the actual delivery of the speech. Introduction is the most important part of the speech. The introduction of the speech establishes the first, crucial contact between the speaker and the audience. For most classroom speeches, the introduction should last less than a minute. The introduction needs to accomplish three things. Letter A. Focus your audience's attention. Speakers must have an attention grabber to interest the audience. A joke, astonishing fact, or anecdote. Letter B. Establish goodwill and credibility. The audience needs to see the speaker as someone to listen to attentively and sympathetically. Making eye contact with the audience and displaying confidence in voice and body are two important ways to establish your character. In addition, if you express your ideas that are original and intelligent, you will show what intellectual character is. Audiences pay attention to habits of thought that are interesting and worth listening to. Letter C. Give a preview. Mentioning the main points to be covered in the body prepares the audience to listen for them. The preview should end with a transition, a brief phrase or a pause to signal to the audience that the speech is moving out of the introduction and into the body. Body contains all the information to support the idea. It is the center part of the speech which explains and discusses the key ideas of the speech. In the body, the fewer the main points, the better. For short classroom speeches under 10 minutes, speeches should not have more than three main points. For longer speeches, more than five main points ensures that audiences will have trouble following and remembering the speech. In the speech, main points should be clearly stated and signposted, marked off as distinct and important to the audience. Transitions often serve to signpost new points as do pauses before an important idea. Additionally, speakers might number main points. First, second, third or first, next, finally. Always make it easy for the audience to recognize and follow key ideas. Conclusion Following a transition from the body of the speech, the conclusion follows. The conclusion should be somewhat shorter than the introduction and accomplishes two purposes. Summarize main ideas and give the speech a sense of closure and completion. Good conclusions might refer back to the introduction, offer an analogy or metaphor that captures the main idea, or leave the audience with a question or a challenge of some type. Brief quotations can also make effective conclusions, just as they can make effective openings for introductions. Now, let us proceed to the discussion of the principles of speech delivery. First, articulation. This means pronouncing the words and speaking with clear diction that effectively transmits the message. Dapat malinaw ang bigkas sa mga salita. Number two, modulation. Refers to the capability to adjust or manipulate the resonance and timbre 
of the vocal tone. There must be control. Hindi masyadong malakas at hindi rin naman mahina ang boses. Number three, stage presence. It is the ability to own the stage and being able to fill the space and project the speaker's personality to the audience. Number four, facial expression, gestures, and movements. They build connections with audience and help emphasize your points. They convey your feelings as a speaker and add drama to your speech. Number five, audience rapport. It is the trust and connection that speaker creates with his or her audience. You should show that you are comfortable on stage so that the audience will be comfortable seeing you and listening to you as well. Kailangan mong tandaan ang mga ito para hindi maging boring ang presentation mo. Nakakahiya kung wala silang maintindihan sa speech mo dahil nakatulog sila sa sobrang pagkabagot, hindi ba? Now, let us proceed to the types of speeches according to delivery. Number 1. Manuscript Delivers this type of speech in a word-for-word -word manner. Advantages It delivers directly the exact repetition of original words from its written form. It is useful when a message needs to be delivered in precise words. Disadvantage it is typically an uninteresting way to present. The presentation tends to be dull. Number two, memorized. Speech that involves commitment to remember the whole content. Wrote recitation of the speech that the speaker has committed to memory. Advantages. It enables the speaker to maintain eye contact with the audience. It allows the speaker to be free of notes and move freely around the stage and use hands to make gestures. Disadvantages He or she might end up speaking in a monotone or a sing-song repetitive delivery pattern or in a rapid machine gun style. He or she might go completely blank during the presentation or suffer from mental block. Number 3 extemporaneous presentation of a carefully planned and rehearsed speech spoken in a conversational manner using brief notes advantages it is speaking in a limited time and guided by notes or outline the speaker will be perceived as knowledgeable and credible and the audience is likely to pay better attention to the message because it is engaging both verbally and non-verbally Disadvantage. It requires a great deal of preparation for both the verbal and nonverbal components of the speech. Number four, impromptu. An unrehearsed speech where the speaker deliver it conversationally and on the spur of the moment. Advantage. It is spontaneous and responsive in an animated group context disadvantage. The speaker is given little or no time to contemplate the central theme of his or her message. This time, here are the types of speeches according to purpose. Informative speech. It aims to provide interesting and useful information to the audience on a specific topic or subject and focuses on giving significant information and factual statements. Example, an informative speech about the history of the Philippines' First Republic during the celebration of Independence Day in Malolos, Bulacan. Demonstrative speech. It aims to instruct to do something or focuses on how something works. Commercials and training sessions are popular examples. Persuasive speech. It aims to influence the audience. It is designed to convince the audience to change the way they think or to do something. The speaker acts as an advocate or supporter of an idea, belief, attitude, or behavior. 
Example, a persuasive speech about why you should get a COVID-19 vaccine. Entertainment speech. It aims to entertain or amuse listeners by using light, funny, or witty anecdotes. It provides pleasure and enjoyment that makes the audience laugh. Now that you know the definition of the word speech, and we discussed some tips for preparing a speech, enumerate the three structure of speech, and discuss the principles, types according to delivery and according to purpose, you are now ready to compose and deliver your own speech in front of an audience. Good luck! So, did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!